Hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I think it's time to come back to some more Hades. Hey, where is Hypnos? That little bastard. Someone's at the desk next to the throne. Who's that sniveling shade to your immediate left there, Father? Already found someone new to do the busy work, and here I thought I was utterly indispensable. <laughs> That shade boy is my newly designated contractor. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Though who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand, I do not know. You're trying to guilt me into funding the exorbitant furnishings you desire. <laughs> once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout my realm, then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations I have piled up. Yes. <clears throat> Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. What's that there? Something from the fates. Oh, there we go. Alright, so as you can see, there is a lot more to this uh, a lot more to this game than had originally been shown. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. All right. Oh, hey. The House of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed lair of the underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. <laughs> How goes it, Shanes? Cause of death, overindulgence. Well, I mean, yeah, what have I done to deserve this? Well, you're a gluttonous shithead, that's what. What once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades now is sealed off in other shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. Oh, he did. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take it if I could. And let's pet the dog! That's a good boy. No oh, Hades, no need to be a stick in the mud. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. I won't forget you, Nyx. I swear it. So, that's one of the things that I think Hades does really well, is this sort of, you know, between-level, like, the between-level chats are... Alright, so what, I think... Death Defiance is definitely a strong one to take. So, Rehail? Yes, Nyx's strength. It's never bedtime here. No, of course not. So, I have also been playing this on the Switch, and I'm happy to report that on the Switch, the game performed nearly as well. Hey, little tip for you. You find any coinage while you're out there, you'll be sure to pawn it off to that old K-Rod. Bowman guy, use it or lose it, pal. Use it or lose it. Thanks, mate. Note to self, always spend everything I earn instead of ever saving. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what he meant. Alright, so last time I did a run using the bow, I think I will be doing the no same thing yet. here. And I need to find the ambrosias to give people so I can gra so I can start gathering keepsakes. Like I said, I've been playing this on the Switch, and to be fair, I've got a lot more time logged in on the Switch version since I'm. Like a dealer's hammer. Since I have been saving playing on here. Your attack fires three shots in a spread pattern. Yeah, that sounds good. You may be right now. Thank you. Composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers, 
The underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Good thing I'm not dead. Aha! So I've been saving playing on my on my Steam profile for basically when I can record for the channel, but it's also been good practice for me. Alright, so triple shot isn't quite as useful as I thought it was. But it's not weak either. I, mean, I had to tell myself that, you know, given given the right circumstances to make it shine, it'll probably be a lot better. Um, Artemis or Athena? I think I'm going to go Artemis this time. But that's something that I've learned from my experimentations, is that there is... Is that each of those symbols on the doorways means something. And coming to understand what those symbols mean is, is a big key to your success. Oh hey, go figure, Dark Save. You mean knowing things is helpful? Yeah, who would have guessed? I mean, it sounds like Captain Obvious information, but you'd be amazed at, at how many people tend to ignore details like that. See, another thing is, on the Switch version, I'm used to being able to do that dash twice in a row. I'm the one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. <laughs> about you? Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Hey, maybe. The power of the hunt sounds like good company to keep. I know, right? <clears throat> I know there are some people who are going to think, oh, the design of this is lazy, it's just... An it's just using Greek mythology. Ugh. Well, see, the problem with that train of thought is that you're not taking into account all of the time, all of the time they took to do the writing around the characters that are present. And make no mistake, they are characters. Um, Centaur Heart or Cash? I'm going to take a chance on Cash. Actually, I was reading one one review that was like, "Yeah, the game is okay, but it's super repetitive, and and they could have just used their own their own characters like they did for Bastion and Transistor." It's just like, yeah, but they. Miss a couple coins. But I do think that the that the aesthetic that is present here works very well for the game. Okay, what is this exclamation point? Me. Oh, hey, that's right. It's Sisyphus. Hey, Princess. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And um, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury Sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now, and you take care. I will take more darkness, please. She is made. But and I think part of what makes this interesting is the creative liberty that was taken with the characters and the sorts of fun that you can have seeing how they react to Prince Zagreus and what he and what he chooses to do. Like, there is plenty here other than just, it's green mythology! Ugh. 
because I think that being incredibly dismissive of what's of what's being put on offer here. guys do plenty of damage. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm in trouble. Athena! It seems to me that you've sustained life-draining injuries already, Zagreus. But don't lose hope. We can sustain you in a proper fighting shape. Hmm. I do like the idea of the Divine Dash. Shield of Light. So now, now we have something that can deflect enemy attacks, but we are also now very low on health. Then here we go. And I'm also wondering if maybe I shouldn't turn off auto-aim because there are times I would like to aim at something other than the closest enemy. I suppose I should have thought of that when I was scrolling through the options menu, like when I first turned on the game, but... And that's what Death Defied does, so, you know, just just a little something to help you stay on your feet. But I do have to admit that the auto aim, that having aim assist on does have, does have its perks. of these upon Olympus. Uh, I don't need more money yet. I'll go for another Palm of Power. Which, by the way, yes, that's very obviously a pomegranate. kind of defensive dash ability, I think, is a big help. Um, ooh, another key. Yes, I need keys right now so I can unlock more weapons and skills. More weapons and skills, it makes me a happy, makes me a happy boy. That's right, I should, yeah. I'm also looking to get some more of those, am some more of those ambrosias. And by more, I mean any at all, so I can... So that I can start giving them out to people and start getting them saves. Yeah, this deadly flourish is a big help when things get crowded, but I don't need to tell you that, you can see for yourself. Give me that key. Back at home. Yes, that's the point. Um, yeah, Centaur Heart, I think, is the right idea right now. Come try me. Also, any opportunity I can find to unlock more stuff is definitely what I want.
So there are bonuses that are upgrades you can make to the bow, which give it a different firing pattern for its primary shot, no. which are things that which are things that I think are a big improvement to the weapon in general. But another thing I need to remember is I don't always need to charge all the way up to a power shot. I'm also very partial to Athena's upgrades. to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, that bad, huh? It's <laughs> slipped. Alright, we will take one of Ares' bonuses. Hmm, that was an accident. I, I saw Heroic and I said, oh, I should have that. Oh, hello. I was stubborn, Arkeo. Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. <laughs> Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. I'm sure you will. Thing is, I I have Megara's patterns down, but I'm also just getting greedy. I have to remember that when she does that, and when she does her like big circle attack, I need to not be in that air. I need to move afterwards because she's almost always going to do a follow up attack. Also, this this attack here definitely helps to have that second dash. I could really use that about now. See how she immediately went into this attack? I've already used my death to five. But that's the whole point of roguelike games, is that not only do you learn, but you also get you also get more permanent upgrades, which yes, that's not a thing in Isaac. I bring that up because I was saying something about how Isaac is kind of the godfather of of roguelike of roguelike gameplay, but there are some things that other roguelikes have done better. The thing is, Isaac is just the starting framework. It's not the whole. It's not always the whole package for a lot of games that have come out. Of come in. See, so after, after she does this, she's always going to do something else. Ah, that's quite all right. Give up? I don't know the meaning of those words. Which, if you've seen my last couple of Wizard of Legend runs, yeah, I don't know when to give up. Wow, so Megara herself got you last time. That must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful and, um, anyway, I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. Yeah, I hope so, too. Back again. You're back. You'll get the hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice, there's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. Ooh! What, wait, you're giving me your codex? I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, 
Maybe you can finish up the rest of it. I'm grateful. Very interesting. Interesting. I don't think I even found that in the... Father, what happened to the lounge? The only place for anyone to have a little fun around here and you seal it shut. Oh, I had little choice about that boy. You see, after you fled the first time, Cerberus, why, he was very much upset. Utterly tore the place to shreds. It's now under repair. All thanks to you. You're really blaming me for not minding the dog while I was out and while you all were here. I lay the blame entirely upon you, yes. Who else? Such a douche. That Cerberus has calmed himself since then. Come to his senses, I should say. May you yet come to yours. How are you holding up, boy? Eating well lately? All three mouths full and happy? Each terrifying maw responds affirmatively, one after the next, as if to reassure the ever doubting prince. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell it, right, boy? Cerberus is a good boy. He seems smaller than you, smaller than I understand, I though. To now. I knew I had a one in three chance cause of death poison mushroom. Oh, you poor bastard. Go. Fulfill your purpose, child. Thank you, Nix. Alright, so I got a bunch of darkness that time around. <sighs> I think we will use it for greater reflex, because having two dashes is of more help than you understand. Looking good. And that little bit of backstab, backstab damage, it adds up. Been waiting over here. All right, so now I can unlock Aegis. Open up. Aegis, shield of chaos. Lend me your power. So the whole thing about the whole thing about this weapon is while you're doing that charge, you can just block attacks. So this is definitely more of a defensive weapon, but I found myself taking a bit of a liking to it. That having been said, I think it's still my least favorite weapon, and I know on my Switch profile I have one left to go. You have the Shield of Chaos, Aegis. Quite unlike the one my good sister Athena likes to flash around. You have much better taste. <laughs> my special inflicts Dome! I like Dome! There we go, that's gonna be big. Codex updated. Each time the prince delves back into the underworld, its ever-shifting chambers realign to frustrate his attempts to maybe map it out. Built to ensure no one gets out. We'll see about that. So the idea that the game is designed with a roguelike structure actually plays into the story. I think that I think it just makes Hades a better game for it. Um, oh, Dionysus and Zeus. Have I spoken to Zeusy boy? I have. So let's just go over here. More trouble. The shield throw obviously inspired by Captain America. That sound. That 
this revelry? People having a good time? Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, <laughs> Olympus, I accept this message. Hey there, Zag man. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. <clears throat> He's so chill and carefree. You gotta love it. A boon for a boon. to lighten things up around here who should i give this to all right so now and now if i see if i see someone that i really want to give a gift to i can gift them that that ambrosia and get and get a special keepsake item from them i'm also hoping that this unlocks the ability to start seeing those more frequently because hey i need a bunch of them it's not like they're the rarest things in the world i just you know, would like to see a few more of them. <laughs> Doom. Okay. Pretty sure that was the only door I saw. I guess what I'm saying about Hades is that it's not just the game's structure, his structure, and the roguelike gameplay style that I find to be that I find to be so engrossing. It's also how they wrote the characters and their relationships to one another that I find to be so interesting. And it's especially true in how the characters evolve, because they don't necessarily stay as they are now. Where now? This is... Oh, Sisyphus. Yes, I will talk to him again. Hey, sir. You know, Prince, it's been good not having to see those Fury sisters quite as much lately. The main one, what's her name? She's on your case now, isn't she? <laughs> you mean Megara? She's on my case, all right. Under strict orders not to let me out of Tartarus. I guess that means you've got yourself a break. About damn time they gave one to you, sir. Excellent. Thank you, mate. All right, so there are a couple of characters that I'm that I want to give this to. Reside the most wretched of all the shades who linger for eternity within the underworld, whose lord and master is especially unkind to those attempting to cheat death. Lots of wretchedness to go around, I guess. <laughs> and there, there are some characters who. <clears throat> Who offer and who offer up keepsakes that help you keep your health topped up? Those are the ones I'm looking for because, if anything, that give you, if anything can give you a more sporting chance at that. Keep them coming. Yeah. So it should come as no surprise, considering what I, how I'm using it. Oh, hello. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. I don't want any of those. Because I have a very defensive-minded weapon, I think I definitely want to just go for a boon instead of worrying about my maximum health, at least yet. That and having Ares' having Ares' big big bad special boost here is making fighting a lot easier. Like this is the sort of thing you want when you have when you have is it Aegis, Aegis, Aegis? I've always learned it's Aegis. I don't reveal my greatest hunting techniques for just anybody, Zagreus, so you better appreciate what you're about to get and use it to go far. I mean, okay, raccoon lady. My dash strike deals more damage, considering what this... 
considering what this weapon is good at, yeah, I'd say that's a huge that's a huge get. Because with this weapon, you want to mainly do the Captain America and the sh and the dash and shield bash. Uh -uh. Well, and that strike. So, I suppose with this weapon, considering its design, you will always be pretty much moving around unless you're charging up that shield bash. Beautifully done. Ooh, a key. Yes, I need more keys. You can never have enough keys, because not only are these used to unlock new weapons, they're also un used to unlock more perks on the Mirror of Darkness. So, there's there's a lot to unlock, and I will be doing this for quite a while. to unlock a weapon. Alright, so I'll get two bonuses here, but I'm gonna have to fight off goons to get one of them. Yes, one of them is going to be mad. Neutrality was not an option here. Zagreus. My loyalty's hard won and quickly lost. Sorry, Atlas. Is she firing arrows at me? I mean, I guess it makes sense, all things considered. There we go. Ooh, 160 for the Doom effect. I love it. Go away! I keep hunting you until you're dead, but there's too little meat on you to make it worth my while. <laughs> So both of those are worth it. We'll take both life essence and that. Again, more darkness is always a good thing. Gain plus 20% movement speed? Alright. Yeah, you heard the man. So one of the big reasons to take Deadly Strikes is because it's also going to boost the Shield Rush. The Shield Rush probably being the second most useful this thing has, right next to the Dash Strike. There we go. Um, and I think this time around, no, I want to. I have a bunch of money to use. Let's use it. Fine day to you as well, there, mate. Now let's have a look at your supplier, shall we? I'll take this one. Time to mix up my style. 
Oh, I like that. Tuned up. All right, and now we fight Megara again, because you know, roguelike game. Get that big. Are the lucky one rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities. Thank you for mercy. I kind of feel like I'm winning this fight, Megara. Oh yeah, this fight is going particularly well. And once you understand the pattern of this attack, it's easy enough to get around. Oh, I thought she was going to go past me. Oops. I made no pain. Still, that's that's an odd thing to say to someone in a fight. Just, hey, wait right there while I smash your face in. Can you do that for me? I'd appreciate it. And there we go. No, Megara, not impossible. I'd say I'd say very very possible. The ancient blood. Achilles might know what to do with this. Battled out of Tartars with the Shield of Chaos. Admittedly, I've got really good Shield of Chaos abilities right now. That shield that that Captain America throw with Hades' blessing is just amazing. How did I grr? Well, I did it like this. Grr. I mean, does that answer your question? And for six encounters, I deal plus 50% damage striking enemies that haven't been damaged. So I just get a nice little leg up. None other than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. You expect any less? I barge where I please. Has the father's death come? I got it. Here we go. And we are doing quite well right now. Now we're getting somewhere. Escaped Tartarus. Oh yeah. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon, whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. <laughs> also, I do like his banter. It's kind of growing on me, even though he is kind of like Captain Edgelord, it seems, half the time. But when he it's when he interacts with other characters that I really find myself... I really find myself liking Prince Zagreus the most. Hey, you're just gonna sit there. Sucker. Best of air. This mark, almost like a batwing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I'm pretty sure this is Hermes. Found you. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be.
Hmm. I think, since we are taking a very... A very defensive way about things. Let's go with the let's go with the chance to dodge. Oh, Palha, so Ambrosia or Key? I think I want to go Ambrosia this time. Moving on. And there will be many, many more runs to come, so it's not like I won't have a chance. Boy, why do they call them wave makers? I just don't understand. Oops, I stepped in the fire. Get out of here. Ow. Oh, it's not a, it's not Ambrosia. It's a bottle of nectar. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Gorgons. And these aren't the friendly kind. I have suffered pain! How dare you make me bleed my own blood? Gods grant me strength. Better blessing. Indeed, better blessing. You better, you better believe it, boy John. Even though it's not your name. Let's go Athena's blessing this time. Why it's the barge of death. Look here. Yeah, having two dashes in a row to work with really makes things a lot easier. Beautifully done, even though I did take a bunch of damage. For you, my cousin Zagreus, I wish to offer the most potent of the blessings I am able to bestow. Make wise your use of this, and rise toward us. Alright, what do we got? Oh, that's interesting. I like. That's what her special cast is. Bone rakers. All right, those guys are kind of nuts. It's not that I didn't know; it's that I forgot. Really got to stop being so reckless. Wall slam. So because the shield is so good at pushing, it's really it's a really effective tool for for pushing people into traps and walls. Yeah, dead is what we're going to be if we're not being careful. A key to a weapon. Uh, palm of power, please. 
I am looking for any opportunity I can find to get my health back. So the idea that I only have access to one kill to one use of my cast ability is a little bit of a pain, but once I can unlock the next tier of skills on the mirror, then I can upgrade that. There we go. Yes boy, all powered up. Alright, so Hermes bonus, shop. Oh, and there's uh, one of these. That's a relief. It is. So I have 147. Um Is it worth going to Sharon or do we go to Hermes? I know I pronounced it Karan in this game, but it is supposed to be Sharon. I know that makes me sound like a like hipster contrarian, but trust me on this. Boosted a boon. Why not? Having traversed the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point, relentless Sagrius must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery who lies ahead, waiting patiently its time to strike. Way to spoil the surprise, old man. <laughs> I really like that he can actually interact with the narrator. There's something very funny and special about that. Um, hello? And this is the Lernian Bone Hydra. Or is it Lernaean Bone Hydra? Alright, now for the next phase of the fight where you have to take on take on some of its extra heads. Alright, so this head is going to be dropping soon, dropping these eggs. Not a big deal. Beautifully done. So now its attack pattern is going to change. As you can see. trying to do is it's trying to it's trying to beat you by overwhelming you, but if you're careful enough about what you're doing, which I'm kinda not being at the moment, it's actually not too hard to get around to get around what it does, especially when it's just the one head left. When it's the one head left, it's much easier to see a pattern than when you have to try to see five patterns at once.
And we still have a death to five in case I do make a stupid mistake. Oh, you mean like the one you just made? Alright, shut up, you. And there we go, Lernian Bone Hydra down. And now we have a diamond. Heads down. <laughs> Should fetch me something good back home. And now we move on to Elysium. So if you haven't figured it out by now, this episode's gonna be a pretty long one, so. Still there, are you? <laughs> Seems that way. There we go. So if you if you did choose to stick around with me through the entirety of this episode, I appreciate you very much. I'm hoping you're having a good time because this game is, to me, it's something special. But I'm also a big fan of roguelike gameplay. The rare heavenly splendors of Elysium. Reserved for only the most great of mortal souls, spread forth luxuriantly all about the fire-stepping prince. Luxuriantly? Really? <laughs> Bright sword. That eyeball, is that him? Oh, it's regenerating. Oh, that thing that produces the damaging butterflies. Yeah, not gonna lie, these... And you can attack them to get them out of your way, but this thing produces so many. Time to collect. Olympus, I accept this message. Positive outlook, that seems like a good one. Alright, where do I go from here? Oh, okay. Ooh, a hammer! Do I want that or do I want a pomegranate? I think I want a pomegranate this time. Okay, so they just have a goofy ass, a goofy ass charge attack. All right. All right, I do like that doom effect quite a bit. I don't have a ton of money, so let's just accept another boon from Lord Ares, the god of swamp. I mean war, the god of war. Also very much going to need some health soon. Just saying, it would be it would be nice. Oh, there it is. Oh nice. Just an extra ten percent damage? Oh, 
I like that. I wish it was called something other than urge to kill, but I mean, it is kind of what I'm doing. I'm just running forth and killing. How much darkness do I have right now? 135. Let's go for the gems. Thank you for announcing the names of the enemies to me, good sir. Those guys have shield, have Aja shields of their own, because douchebags. Oh, how come I don't get a circle strike? Beautifully done. For safekeeping. Yeah, for safekeeping, totally. Still alive. I'm very surprised about that. I've kind of gotten my ass kicked quite a bit. Soul sucking butterflies. Yes, the butterflies do a pretty good a good amount of damage if they hit you, so I'm trying to control the battlefield as best as possible. Right now the best way to stay in control is just to is just a Captain America this whole fight. Also, I very much like this music. Ow. I took damage. I don't want to take damage. Who are you? Why you? Did he, wait, did he really just get me right in the ass? Yeah, you're right in the ass. I'm not even right. I'm in the ass. Oh. All right. Well, my anal pain aside, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm very much enjoying this game, and I hope a lot of you are too. Um, drop me a like, leave me a comment. Hey, let me know what else you want to see in this game. I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of showing you as much as I can, but, you know, I'm hoping you're finding it entertaining. And I will be back with more in the near future. So you guys take care. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.